people. I don't know why I just got nervous, but like I was not expecting this. No, it's okay. You're I really think everyone fine. is nervous. Yeah, I'm super nervous. Too. I'm, I'm I shaving my pants too. Okay, okay. <laughs> no, I'm not. Oh, that's a smell. Okay, yo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, you heard that? At least it's not German. <laughs> Welcome everybody to Coloring Paris. Ooh. Fuck out my way when you see me. I'm rolling with the LGBT. Fuck out my way when you see me. I'm rolling with the LGBT. I'm rolling with the LGBT. I'm rolling with the LGBT. Looking like we belong on TV. I'm rolling with the LGBT. Cool for this shit, look at my body language Shit on everything, I need some potty training Money missing, have to ask them what arrest on me Before I call my bitches up, they say yes, hunty you know Judge what? one of the thugs, they gon' raise some thugs yeah. Judge one of my trash, catch a heel up your ass Uh-oh. Don't judge a last man, cause she don't want you bad men Judge one of the gays, they drag you from Z to A And shout out to the vibes, you ain't gotta pick a side oh. And if you in a closet, shorty, you ain't gotta hide Better make these bitches sick when they see you what? And if a bitch won't beef, give a beast to yep, yep, yep. Stripper right in front of me, I hope she wash her ass you know She looking at my fine gaze, but they don't wanna smash oh. Know they about to act a fool, time is fast, dude Then the gays hop on stage, I got to shake my ass too Ooh. Fuck out my way when you see me I'm rolling with the LGBT Fuck out my way when you see me I'm rolling with the LGBT I'm rolling with the LGBT I'm rolling with the LGBT Looking like we belong on TV I'm rolling with the LGBT Fashion wise they don't play When they step out they gon' slay I'm talking tight jeans, good high jeans. Motherfucker stay free every day. Yeah. This week's episode is extra, extra special or spicy. A little spicy. Yeah. Mm. Uh, before I get started on the spice of today, actually, let's talk about this podcast is Coloring Paris. It's for people of color by people of color. Let's yeah. go. Yeah. 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 Let's do this, oh my God. Yeah. This is amazing. So in this week's episode... Because it's Pride Week, actually. Let's talk about that. It's Pride Week. Be who you are for your pride. So it's Pride Week this week, and we have a special episode honoring Pride. That's so amazing. I am excited and my name I'm d- like I'm someone new. You guys don't know me. <laughs> you don't know me, but now you will. But you don't know me. Who my name is she? Is no Monday and welcome to Coloring Paris. I am a South African girl. I came here because of the love of the language and exchange of color. Currently work as a barista at a, an amazing coffee shop. I'm not going to give all my details. Suddenly you guys are coming and like, oh, yeah, chill. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want that. So I am joined by amazing people this week. And like I said, our episode is a pride episode. So we are opening the space all the fuck up. Okay, let's introduce ourselves. Mm. Um, I guess I'll go next. So, hi, I'm Tiffany. I'm from the U.S. Uh, my yeah. darling, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> who am I? Uh, that's an interesting question. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get to the part. <laughs> no. Um, so, my name is Didi, uh, and um, I've been living in Paris, um, in the Ile de France, uh, for 10 years now. That's, like, too long. Mm. <laughs> But uh, what I do for a living, uh, I'm um, working as a freelancer in cybersecurity. Um, but right now, I'm uh, quite free because I want to be. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm taking vacation now from all of that. And uh, I want to start uh, finding uh, actually uh, what speaks to me. Whatever. We are not here to talk about all of that. <laughs> um, um, so that's it. Uh, that's do, it. Do, do I have to say? <laughs> I think, think that's no? perfect. Okay. <laughs> I think that's perfect. And my darling, darling, who are you? <laughs> so, so hello everyone. Hello, baby. I'm a bit excited because uh, it's my first time talking on a podcast, <gasps> and uh, and uh, yeah, the so. task at hand is very. It's something it's else. You are sensitive. So, uh, yeah. So I'm David. I've been living in Paris for eight years now mm. and uh, at the moment I'm working as an executive assistant for a gym company oh let's go look at that mm-hmm. and the, that's why the body bodies yeah that's why the body bodies that's amazing allegedly <laughs> <Hello>. <laughs> 
I mean, we could take videos and show proof afterwards. You tell me. Ah, <laughs> slide into my DMs. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> right next to the amazing David, who do we have? You have got Costivation's glamour on. I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> 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 my name is Jaisal I'm from Honduras I've been living in Paris For about a little over 10 months And what I do for a living is I am a cook And I also have my OnlyFans page You can follow me at Big69 <laughs> 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 You really said that. It's all lie. Shut <laughs> the fuck up. I need oh the receipts. <laughs> you, you see the receipts when you pay. Send me the receipts. I Send will. Receipts. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm actually um, a cook at a, at a restaurant. So it's fun to be here. It's fun to be around people that, you know, look like me. So nice. <laughs> What is that? You know, n- Sun kissed, <laughs> sun kissed, sun kissed individuals. So, huh? By the it's way, summer and the sun is kissing yeah, us. Yeah, kissing my booty. <laughs> some of the shit I'm gonna say on this podcast, you are gonna like. Some of that you will have to edit a lot. Okay, thank what? you. <laughs> Adam, good luck to you. <laughs> good luck to you, <laughs> bro. Team, good luck to you. <laughs> so, being queer and being black. Or being a person of color and being queer, how does that affect your day to day life? How how does how do you navigate that part of you, of your queerness and blackness? Because that's two separate entities, two separate things. Who? Yeah. How do you? <laughs> that's, that's a heavy, 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 heavy question. Actually, that you get there. Um, guys, do you want to start or? <laughs> Oh, do you want to start today? I don't want to start anything. I just okay. want to follow you guys. But okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll well, I'm just going to start. Oh, so, go um, for me, it's quite good because, um, you know, like in my home country, it's uh, very hard to be gay, even though it's not it's not like illegal at the moment. It's, uh, it's actually become, uh, uh, I don't know the term in English, but uh, depenalized, mm. I guess, in English mm, maybe. Okay. Uh, it's been like this for I'm three banned. years. Yeah, I was about to ask what country you're from. So we can I'm from Gabon. Ooh, so I'm from okay. Gabon. And um, so being gay and, and black in Paris, for me, it's uh, like really nice because uh, it's in, well, the the legislation in France doesn't like uh, criminalize uh, yeah, so my sexual huh? mm-hmm. identity, my sexual activities and uh, etc. cetera. Uh, moreover, being in the gay scene... Um, at my age, like I'm very comfortable in my own skin, mm-hmm. so uh, I'm not very paying attention too much at uh, at uh, how some how non-colored people would view, view me you as in, a queer in, exactly a as a black and queer person. Yeah, but I know for sure that uh, because uh, I have lots of black friends that. Um, there's are you queer? Yeah. <laughs> are your black friends queer? Excuse me? Are your black friends queer? Yeah, they are. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, that's good. Yeah, most of them are. So, uh, I know for sure that uh, there, th- it's like a two worlds. There's uh, the gay white scene and the yeah. gay okay black, black scene. scene. So, yeah. uh, and most of the time they don't really interact. Mm-hmm. Let's say that. I don't in know what Paris, you, think. you mean? Uh, in Paris, yeah. I mean, for me, it's like uh, really different since I'm like uh, a girl. <laughs> it's not the same because, like, uh, when you are really a gay different. man uh, in Paris, you have a lot of like events and stuff. And you uh, included places. so much, exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, but when you are a girl and queer, there's not much space actually for the you to like just be yourself. So it's uh, it's yeah. like yeah, especially queer and a person of color yeah they exactly. are not enough of us you can find i think a few white queers they have their space there's something yeah exactly and mm. i mean i mean i think the thing is like uh, when you talk about intersectionality uh, there is like uh, a whole like the uh, different groups of people um, uh, that can uh, be minorities, you see. Yeah. And when you are uh, a woman and uh, a person of color and also queer and also a Muslim for me, <laughs> that's why like, uh, oh, I that's love a, double a, homicide. That is, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. like you are, <laughs> you are at the bottom of the society. Uh, mm. No one give a damn about what you had to say. But um, for me, like uh, the experience, yeah, you're right. Uh, since uh, in our type of countries, in Senegal also, uh, on peut passer en français, okay. 
<rire> bah, on va essayer de faire les deux un peu pour les gens, mais <rire> ok. Bah, euh, étant donné qu'on vient de pays euh, qui sont euh, homophobes, enfin moi en, en tout cas au Sénégal, euh, l'homosexualité est carrément punie, c'est un, c'est un délit. Là ils essaient de le faire passer en crime, euh, les gens sont enfermés pour ça. Donc euh, clairement le fait d'être queer euh, ici en France c'est plus facile. Sauf que euh, quand tu mélanges ça à ces autres euh, pans de ta vie euh, où euh, tu te représentes toi en tant que... Enfin, c'est même pas que tu te représentes, c'est juste que tu es une personne noire et que tu es une femme. Ça devient autre chose. Il y a ce mélange-là qui se fait où parfois il y a des choses que tu vis, tu sais pas où les placer. Tu sais pas si ça, ça vient de m'arriver parce que je suis une femme mmh. ou parce que je suis une noire wow. ou parce que je suis queer. Ouais, il y a, ah, il y a plein de choses là. Tu dis. <rire> c'est ça. Mmh. I don't know what you think about that, guys. Well, me, for example, like I'm... Not only am I queer, I'm also black and I'm also Latino and I'm also Garifuna. So it's it's a bunch of things going you? on. I am <laughs> <laughs> so much. <laughs> They call me an Avenger of myself. <laughs> but, uh, thank you. So it's like like you said, like some of the things I've been shocked. Like some of the things that happened to me, like I'm so shocked. I have nothing to say to that. I'm just like wow. Mm. Like what the what like you know, and then when I go to like out of parties and whatever, and then you're just black queers. I'm like, okay, I feel this, but then um, my Latino side cannot be free. Yeah, and I want to be able to be in spaces where my all my four sides of me are free mm. and comfortable with, and I don't really get to see that or feel that all yeah. the time I go out with my friends. You know what mm. I mean? So I understand what you're saying when you're coming from you know, well, you know, I'm lesbian and I'm all of this. Yeah, you're right. There is also the African side. Uh, that, exactly. Yeah, that the same. Yeah, that factors in. <laughs> That that it really does factor it, it. Mm. yeah, and then so the fact that I'm my whole all four personalities. What was that the third one? No, yeah, yeah sorry. I knew you had a problem. <laughs> yeah, just me. Um, Mental damage. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I blame it on my mama. Um, yeah, <laughs> they're not. All of them are not comfortable, or all of them are not represented, or they're all either rejected or not all the way in mm. the situation or the moment. Is mm. like this is not the right place. You know what I mean? So like, um, someone might look at me like, okay, so you are black, but you don't speak our language in Africa. Mm. Some Latinos look at me and I'm talking to them in Spanish, no accent, whatever, and they're talking to me in French. I'm like, bitch, do you not hear me talking to you? <laughs> <laughs> what is go- like, what is what's happening? Mm. You know what I mean? So yes, yeah, it's, it's this this intersectionality thing. It's very complicated to explain, but when you once you live it within your skin it's like I'm going through it yeah same thing yeah mm. and I feel like a lot of people will not be able to understand that because they're just so immersed in their own realities they do not take the time to see what's outside of their own bubble mm. so it's I think like for them they're just comfortable where they are and they will not explore further than that mm. sure. uh, yeah so I, I don't know if it's just them the problem or is it us not acknowledging their beliefs or their reality or they just don't give a fuck about what we're going but through. But also, I think like there is also like uh, the difference between the environment that you are in. Mm-hmm. Uh, for example, uh, country uh, in the workplace mm. is like different because like you don't have the same issues. I don't know if you go to the same thing. Uh, like do, do, do you have a uh, like queer uh, Like, are you are you open actually in your workplace? My boss is queer. Oh, nice! Really? Yeah, yeah. Have you guys She have sex? with me. No, not yet. But oh. uh, <laughs> not no, yet. But, yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah. yeah, because I need a promotion soon. So who knows? <laughs> who knows? <laughs> If you need help, do. call me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, my boss is queer and he's very like open-minded and uh, wow, I, I meet so him lucky. like regularly in the Marais. Yeah, just by chance, oh, and he's like, so yes. I'm like, yeah. Really? <laughs> How, how do I find uh, <laughs> those type of bosses? Well, how? you have to hang out with me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's, hang out the Let's hang out some more. <laughs> I'm not queer out to my workplace and I don't know, I feel like I don't have to be but also sometimes when you hear comments from, and you just like, oh, they look at you wanting approval and you're like, no. <laughs> mm. <laughs> don't do that. And it's, it's always, I think for me it's different because it's always people of my color and from my country. So which is way now it becomes... Oh my, from Africa mm. with you know and they look at you and they're like oh God would not want that and I'm just like uh, oh yeah oh come that's on Jesus. Story. yeah because you know when you in my where I work I work with people I work with customers so people come in people are different people live their lives differently and then you just see comments and you're just like whoa mm. so yeah, yeah I mean I always, I also th- I've always thought that God is probably non-binary or just asexual I mean no I, I think God is not even like human-like 
yeah he's just that's what he wants to do like today i feel like you know i'm gonna do my nails i'm gonna do it what the fuck are you gonna do mm. you can't see me <laughs> yeah yeah for me um since i work in environments that are uh, a lot white oh, and uh, with only uh actually like i'm the only a black person in my team oh, like the team that i was working uh, mm. in and what i was the only woman <laughs> also in my team it's given underground yeah. railroad i'm just saying yeah, I, I know <laughs> but uh Harriet <laughs> when, when, <laughs> when you're in tech like usually you work on those type of spaces where there are only like cis uh uh ah, hetero yeah. uh and mm. uh, blanc yeah. 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 Ouais, donc l'expérience que j'ai dans le milieu du travail, c'est pas du tout la même chose que tu as toi. Après, fin, euh, même en dehors de ce travail-là, dans tous les stages que j'ai fait avant, et, et je pense sans vraiment aucune exception, hein, j'ai eu beaucoup de, de boulot, euh, pas, pas, pas jusqu'à maintenant, mm -hmm. j'ai toujours été euh, ouvert par rapport à qui j'étais. Si, je me suis jamais caché, mm -hmm. et je pense que ça dépend aussi de la manière dont je me présentais aux gens. Et euh, j'avais pas peur de moi, j'avais pas honte de moi, j'avais pas non plus peur des gens. Enfin, mmh. je, je viens travailler, donc je sais ce que j'apporte à l'entreprise. Mmh. Ils m'ont recruté, donc c'est qu'ils ont euh, besoin de ma force de travail. Et donc, euh, dès que je sens que... Enfin, bon, évidemment, pas dès le premier jour, je vais être moi-même, mais d'abord, j'observe et puis, puis j'analyse de, euh, de manière inconsciente. Et, euh, ouais. Au bout de quelques jours, ben, quand je vois que, euh... que, 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 voilà, que, que tout le monde a le cœur au bon endroit, ben, je Là, tu te lâches ouais. pas quand même. Ouais. Je moi, me lâche moi, moi et... personnellement, je ne me cache pas non plus. Hein. Ouais. Enfin, ouais. Même quand je vois que l'environnement ne s'y prête pas, je m'en fous. Ouais. Enfin, je ne vais pas être en mode, oui, uh, I'm going to do a coming out or anything like oui, that. Oui, moi aussi, I don't like that. I don't like, like that. That's not necessary. Yeah. Yeah. Do that it's either. really, it's so yeah. uncomfortable. Also, exactly. It puts so much pressure on you. Yes. Exactly. And on the next person for no reason. So I, yeah. I swear. So what I usually do, oh, sorry to cut you off, but what you no, no, go ahead. What I usually do is I wait for someone to comment or talk about their relationships mm. and how bad the boyfriend, girlfriend are behaving. <laughs> And I'm like, just suck his dick, girl. Like, I've done it before. Like, you know, it's, it's fine. You're all right. Slick with it. Like, I've done it. it. Like, 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 oh, and then, oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, just like, you know, if you need me to teach you, I can do it. Just bring it over. Bring it over. I will teach you how to do this. Like, got, got 3,000. I got it. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? <kidding> <laughs> so I um for me like uh usually it's like the conversation like about yeah I went to a vacation uh, with my girlfriend or something like that. Yeah. I'm not going uh, like to say uh yeah guys come on here I have something to tell you or nothing of that kind. It's just like they are talking about their girlfriends, their boyfriends. Mm -hmm. I'm doing the exact same thing and yeah. that's it. But once you do it there is a difference. Okay. Oh, really? So what happens then? Yeah. It depends on people, especially with white guys that are like uh, not in that uh, type of spaces that mm. don't know a lot of uh, people of color and well, they're don't missing know out a lot. That's for sure. Like that, they are living like boring lives. Literally, they 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 uh, start to um, respond in a really strange way to me. I don't care. I, I try to not care at least because I w would pref prefer to be in an environment where I can be myself like, and feel safe and feel safe exactly that yeah. part but uh, if like uh, they don't allow me uh, to be me I will allow myself to be me you see mm -hmm. I'm not like giving you that power of, uh, to give me the space or the permission to no, be you myself. take the space yeah, yeah. yeah. I try yeah. I try to and how do you <laughs> take that in within your family how do you oh, navigate sure. that with your family <laughs> what's your I'm family, talk about family. <laughs> <laughs> can I just cut add like cameras, something the in regards to the Okay, the workplace. Yes. For me, like being gay is not like the main event in my life because, uh, unfortunately, it was the main event like in my life. So I had uh, like everything was uh, was uh, yeah revolving around me being gay and not mm. me being like uh, comfortable with that. So like at this point in my life, I'm very fortunate and happy that uh, that I, I don't really care. I think because I'm in Paris. Yeah, I think. You don't That's care because you're in Paris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, yeah, that's the reason. So, uh, when I'm like choosing a company, I'm choosing a company for like many reasons, right? Because uh, I, I'm also very uh, okay fortunate that that I can choose the company that I want to work in. You know, mm -hmm. it, it's a privilege. So uh, I will pick 
a company where I see that people are very diverse from yeah. diverse backgrounds, from diverse ages, from diverse genders, etc. So, uh, so that, yeah, these things may not happen. Mm. Yeah. Uh, because I because I don't want to make uh, my race or my sexual like orientation a topic for me. Um, I, I'm sorry. I, I just have to say one thing. It's not that. Um, like I'm, I'm a bit um, triggered. I'm sorry by what you just ah, said. Um, it's not you that is making mm -hmm. it a topic. Mm -hmm. Like uh, for myself, for mm -hmm. example, I would mm -hmm. love to live in in a, in a uh, world where mm -hmm. that won't be a topic. Yeah, like I, exactly. I don't. I, for myself, my race doesn't mean anything to me. Mm -hmm. Especially when we are born African and uh, you are raised there. Yes. Being black doesn't mean anything to you. Okay. Um, uh, my uh, sexuality also it doesn't mean anything so to me it doesn't mm -hmm. but to other people that are in front of you it does yeah. mm -hmm. that's why it's like uh, usually an issue so it's not you that is making it like a topic uh, but uh, yeah it's made for I you I mean yeah. yeah they are yeah they also make a topic out of, I mean I'm mixed I'm half white and 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 okay half black but what? Uh, <laughs> yeah, guys, I, I, I should make a coming out. I'm sorry. I'm not really black. Oh, I'm not really black. That's actually very crazy. <laughs> I'm an intruder. You're an intruder. <laughs> okay, so now, like, it's a white part of me. Like, so who's going to talk? Just kidding. <laughs> no, no, but, um, uh, and, and I'm working, like, in a German company, and for most, uh, Okay, German people, I'm black, so I'm not even mixed. Mm. So uh, it means that they already know that I'm from Africa. So uh, so they make it a topic, and I'm very like comfortable with that. And like, wow, okay, they do ask questions. They don't know, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Mm -hmm. So um, in my mind, this is always up to me to guide the conversation, you know. And uh, and to show to people th their limits yeah. of what is like a reasonable question or not. So yeah. So you have some. So people know. So you have yeah. to teach them. Yeah. Oh, to make I teach them from the very start. They know. Yeah, but that's it. You have to teach them. If you don't like, normally you wouldn't. I teach them by my attitude, by yeah. the way I talk, by the way I also like to talk to them, etc. So uh, that's me. <laughs> I'm very dominant. Yeah, oh, okay. I think it's a good strategy to to mm. to. <laughs> it's quite effective when you want to promote understanding within the community. Because in as much as we don't want to be questioned and don't want to say this, I'm this, I'm that. We live in a world that is that way, and for us to be able to be a lot free mm. in this community, in this society, we have to introduce ways as to how we can, you know, effectively move this forward. They understand that we're just human. It's okay. So I think that's a good strategy. Do you guys have any strategies that you do to make it a better, I don't know, society? Everything is moving. People understand that I'm queer. I am not whatever. That all these horrible things that I thought about us. Mm. Well, initially what I do is I just, quote, um, I just like list the things that I want to be known for. Mm -hmm. Like, first of all, I'm Honduran. Second of all, I am black. Third, I'm Garifuna. Mm -hmm. Then I'm queer. And then I'm all of these other, you know, um, um, and then your bottom exactly. And then also <laughs> bottom, but I will, I will top in emergencies. <laughs> so it's you know, it's a whole list. And then such so, a liar. You oh never talk. God. I do top. I do. <laughs> you guys. I top tops. Okay, After listen. this show, we are recording your uh, your only fans. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Officially, yeah. because clearly there will be a scene with an. Um, anyways, so the thing is, <laughs> <laughs> he's listening. <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> so with me, so with me, the thing is that, like, I, I, like David said before, like, you need to like properly guide this non-melanated what people on how you need to be need and want to be treated, right? So you have to like literally grab their hands and be like, look, bitch. So this is point A of me. This point B of me. Watch your mouth, and we can be cool. Yeah. Because it's it's very difficult. Like they forget that we have so many um different you know fa yeah, um, facets yes. to yeah to to ourselves. But they always just want to like in my case, for example, they always want to like be like oh the, the black gay, oh the black gay, the black all the time. It's the same thing, especially with la Latino community. Do you find uh, similar labels within 
your blackness and your black community? Absolutely not. Because they're like, okay, you're gay, but first of all, you are black. We we are talking to the black person now. Yeah. The gay comes later. Like if you want to do some crazy shit when you're drunk, we don't care. But right now is the nigga. <laughs> when you're drunk. Yeah. Like if you're <laughs> do, you, if you're drunk and I'm drunk and you know I feel like you, somebody needs to talk about dick and you're there like okay, crap. Yeah, the UN will allow this. You know what I mean? But like it's just the thing of um for me for example and it gets tiring though like having to guide people all the fucking time like how you want to be treated and talk yes, to you it's it just tiring. gets frustrating it's like really I told you this like two weeks ago now you forgot mm-hmm. what's going on with Alzheimer mm. no <laughs> come on it's got to be real and so it's just a thing a matter of um, like I said before it's just I can't do this all the time with different people just because you don't know all of these other different you know um, um, genres mm. of who I am does not mean that I'm just this one and this is the same one you're going to see tomorrow because mm. tomorrow I might be depressed mm. and I could just be black and depressed mm. or I could mm. be just gay and depressed yeah. you know what I mean yeah. so you, I feel like people need to really start to like try at least to understand that I'm just not this one faced person mm. just like we do all the fucking time like we hear them like oh, I'm so sad my boyfriend dumped me or I'm so sad my, my mom died I'm here for you yeah. and I would not question your identity I would not question anything that has to do with you other than you are going through this moment that I probably will go through and in that case you would not be seeing me the same way I'm looking at you right now mm. all you're seeing is a black gay queer whatever person crying and you feel like sorry for them even it's two three times or more than I would for you because you know it's a toll on your mental health. Exactly. You exactly. not miss. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. But I do feel like one of the major um, sort of aspects that could be tackled is how queerness is represented in like movies, media, everywhere. I feel like it's not really represented in France no, very it's much not. at it's all. It's not. It's not at all. At all. In, like yeah. I don't even know of a single movie where you can uh, see a and you see black it. woman and queer. Like yeah. yeah, it's very rare and very weird, and it's usually like the straight women mm. falling for the les- out lesbian whatever. It's like yeah. it doesn't always happen like that. Literally, and it's so sexualized. It's yeah. very yeah. sexualized. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, let's, yeah. let's not forget that the people who are making these films and movies or series um. are. Straight. Mm-hmm. Straight, straight, yeah. straight white men, men yeah. who wants to see who wants to see that <laughs> yeah, sort of yeah. things like in order. We need more of this, um, you know, um, representation, especially in Europe, because Europe is the the reason why I'm here is because I learned that Europe was more open. Mm-hmm. And then I got here, it's like, well, no. bitch, you're actually not. You're so, not as open no. as I think. No, 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 no. no. Yeah. Like my dating life here is hard, especially with women no. yeah. <laughs> I feel like it's non-existent it's so non-existent it's so, really? it's so yeah. Yeah. It's so when you're yeah, a black woman in these applications yeah. there's Yo, nothing nothing nothing, <laughs> nothing nobody you'd want to like go crickets. further with it's okay. crickets it's uh, only other black pe- women uh, do like but uh, even then yeah. Yeah. I mean I feel like even yeah. other black women <laughs> yeah. yeah it's really hard so to find it's someone it's harder than where or what then with men or then yeah. your imagination <laughs> then, yeah, I don't then know. with men okay, okay, but like the bars in hell I'm just yeah. saying for men like you breathe on them hard and they're like oh I'm here it's exactly. like the fuck yeah. get out of here yeah yeah actually like the first day you sign on to a like dating app uh, mm-hmm. like if you put that like, you are interested in men mm-hmm. you have a like, lot yes. a lot like maybe 50 messages and or 50 matches yeah. like on a single day mm. yeah if you put that you are interested uh, in, in women, women? Mm-hmm. It's hard. Really? Even one yeah. match, like uh, a day, is like a it's hard. a lot. Yeah. Yeah. And even taking it further with that as well. For so me, do you think I feel like because what? Because uh, lesbians are I don't know. Mm-hmm. More I mean, it's not that easy. More tentative or what? Or maybe we're um, just not out there like that yeah. as black women. Uh, women. Can you like at yeah, least yeah. give us like because five reasons I don't know. why it's as, as difficult? Yeah, because we don't know. Because I all I know man. is that they n- like gays want. <laughs> No, he's, we, he's right. It's, it's right. It's, it's, I'm not lying. <laughs> and how does that impact your mental health as a it does. Queer, as a bla- as a person of color? Uh, it's heavy. It's he- yeah. As a queer person of it's, color, yeah. It's heavy. It is. It is. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because yeah. it's a roller coaster of emotions, and now mm-hmm. not only are you going through your own thing at the moment, mm-hmm. but you're also having to explain why you're going through this old thing and why this situation needs to be respected, and why it has to be taken seriously, um, just because. It does not mean that you cannot be a black strong person. We love being sh- black and strong and voicing out our opinions, but we are also should be allowed to be vulnerable. Mm. I'm human, just like you are. Exactly. It's that simple. I feel. I don't know. Mm. No, I feel like the exact same way because, like, uh, usually, especially when you are young. Because I came here, I was like 18. 
like you are dealing with a lot of <laughs> shit mm. yourself like you are not really that comfortable with your skin within your own skin you are not really uh, you don't know who you are and stuff like that like everyone in, uh, in that age but uh, usually the problem is like when you come to a country uh, that's not uh, like especially for us like Africans or like people that come from uh, countries where uh, they are like the majority there is that issue that comes uh, ahead of uh, everything else so uh, you are dealing with that and also you are doing dealing with the fact that uh, you are also queer in an environment that now allows you to do that but you don't actually know how to because you were uh, facing like so many uh, shit in your own school country that you don't actually know how to be yourself so like yeah i feel like like usually uh, you are dealing with a uh, lot of shit that everyone is dealing with like w white people whatever color you are we all have yeah. our issues our traumas and stuff like that but uh, um, when you are queer and black and a woman also um, oh, yeah. you are dealing with like some stuff that some people are uh, may not be dealing with mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So and how do you cope with that do you have a community do you have support yeah how do you how she do you got go me about that? <laughs> okay that's all she, she got needs. me and i got her and i got her <laughs> um for me like um first of all like my family i'm out to my family but they don't uh, really accept me like my parents at, at least mm -hmm. so uh um but i have my sister that is really uh here for me i have like my friends and my girlfriend also mm -hmm. that i really love oh, um, look <laughs> <at that>. <laughs> so <laughs> like yeah now i have the support system but um five years ago i didn't have that Mm. I really didn't and it was like uh, hell. Like you didn't hell. have it from everybody, your family, just from friends, especially no support. Uh, no mm. support because I from was your friends. From my friends. And like uh, from your siblings? Well you have a sister, right? Yeah, my sister from like sister, she she was, yeah, I, uh, she she's like okay. me also. She's so you only well. had your sister uh, as a support yeah but at the time like since she's my little sister i wasn't mm. comfortable uh, oh damn you can't you don't you don't because they don't want to have it be oh you did this you gave her it's yeah, because of you it's yeah, yeah. you, you uh, opened up the thing even when i yeah <laughs> you i had to say with my little <laughs> sister too mm. <laughs> they did that eventually actually even though they did. i didn't i tried and, to and, yeah. <laughs> avoid that situation yeah. it happened yeah that's, uh, it's, that's it's very interesting yeah it's very scary when when one of your you know younger siblings comes out as whatever they want to come out as and you're like oh my god did i do this what yeah happened? now you start this? blaming yourself yeah, now and you, you want to say shit like it's a face because i remember when i came <laughs> when i came out um well, I, was, I, was, I didn't come out i was taken out of the closet whatever you, you were taken out of i was taken out of the closet oh. yes i was it wasn't your decision it was not my decision to make oh. someone else did it for me it was whatever mm. anyways so when Damn. i came out and then my brother saw me and he was like oh you're disgusting you're gay and he leaves the red room because i was actually i was you know play with myself anyways um oh my god so that was <laughs> that, um, voluntarily yeah. involuntarily that's what i did anyway mm. so he comes back he's like you know what that has not been he's a, like our dad loves us to the bones right he's always he's still married to my mom but when um my brother saw that he's like that has not been here for a long time the only father figure i've ever had is you i don't give a fuck if you're gay or not are you my brother but before you be my brother you're my dad so mm. i still love you i'm like of course you do, bitch. The fuck you be? I raised you. Oh, look at you know that! Yay! So yeah, and but to be honest, the only support system I had, because after that, when I told my family, like they all, the all we are fucking rabbits. We are everywhere. So the whole entire family stopped talking to me. And the only person <coughs> that talked to me for like uh, I think it was a year or something was my little brother. Yeah, he was until the only person. That was your till today. Till until today. today. Till today. Your and has that changed? Your parents? Yeah, your parents. Now? My, it has changed now. My parents mm. are like, okay, more accepting because my little brother and my mom's excuse not talking to me was like, I think because you were gonna like show this to your little brother and he's gonna see that. My brother uh, has a girlfriend who sure he loves, what? by the way. Even if he didn't, just and even if he didn't, it's just whatever. It's like not something that, that it's got be nothing to do. Yeah. Like I, I, I hope my mom raised my brothers and sister you know what I mean so but didn't you feel like relieved that your brother wasn't also gay oh I bitch let me tell you something <laughs> <laughs> when my brother said I have a girl no, like, oh my god no derogatory term he said oh, sorry um <laughs> let me bitch say <laughs> Well, he, he said oh I have to call you because I have a girlfriend I saw her she was really really nice and uh, yeah I was really proud I was like okay I'm not proud because he was not gay just proud of him because despite everything was said about us 
you know and then people say that because of me he might end up being xo is that he still managed to like you know figure that shit out for himself i don't know if he tried it or not but he now has a girlfriend and he's happy where he is and he's okay where he is and if he ever decides to change you know his ways i would not be the one to be like oh well that's on me and mm. i hope no one else in the family goes oh that's on your older brother you know what i mean even if they do uh, at some point you stop to care about what they think exactly you don't have the choice actually. yeah mm. yeah parce qu'en fait si tu veux à la fin de la fin de la journée c'est c'est son choix à faire c'est clair voilà et mm. là je peux rien faire genre c'est c'est sa vie il fait sa life moi je fais la mienne du coup euh, c'est sa life <laughs> yes so c'est so clair. it's it's very simple like that so i feel like it's just a matter of knowing where you stand and i honestly when you go to like rough patches in your life and i mean rough like rough shit and people start moving away from you you're not the problem mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it is not you mm. Especially in a country where you're supposed to like be able to be free and speak your mind and be who Surtout you are. Mm. Du coup, quand tu vois des gens qui bah, que c'est, pff, qui dégagent ta vie et tout, c'est, ça veut dire qu'en fait, t'as fait ton truc dans ma life. Mm. Et puis là, que ton moment s'est passé, bah, vas-y quoi. Mm. You know, so it's just, it's Moi, just. C'est, c'est, c'est totalement ça. Moi, au début, euh, je sais pas si euh, vous avez eu ça. J'avais tendance à traîner avec euh, des gens qui euh, qui étaient issus du même milieu commun, tu vois. Donc souvent des Sénégalais, euh, souvent des euh, Africains, ce genre ouais. de choses. Hétéro, c'était plus hétéro, facile. Hétéro. Oh, okay. girl, bah, no. Déjà quand tu dis euh, Sénégalais ou euh, Africain, oui, c'est et pas, hein. ouais. non, c'est pas forcément. Ah, c'est pas, c'est, c'est pas forcément le cas mais mmh. les gens ne vont pas être out euh, ne d'accord, vont pas d'accord. le dire donc en général euh, mais forcément mais tu traînais avec des personnes qui étaient out ou des personnes non qui, j'étais avec des, des personnes de... hétéros moi. oh <rire> pour le coup that was, that was, that was et, c'était tough des, c'est, des, c'est, des africaines <rire> des africaines et des africains mmh. qui enfin des sénégalais surtout euh, pas que mais euh, surtout et euh, qui était euh, parce que nous on est un peu brainwash avec euh, les histoires de ouais euh, euh, tout le monde doit être pareil quoi limite. Ouais. c'est en mode euh, personne n'a le droit d'être différent ou de euh, dès l'instant que t'es un peu différent ça pose problème à tout le monde c'est comme si tu remettais en question toute la communauté ou quelque chose du genre tu vois alors que ça les regarde pas dans les faits tu vois mmh. mais du coup c'était un environnement toxique pour moi parce que je m'obligeais à être euh, toujours dans ce truc-là de la fille euh, sénégalaise parfaite. Euh. Parce qu'il ne savait pas pour toi bah, Déjà, je n'osais pas le dire, mais heureusement, parce qu'au moment où j'ai eu le courage de le dire, j'étais prête tu vois, à m'assumer moi-même. Donc là, ils ont décidé euh, tous de, de, partir. Euh, de partir de ma vie et mmh. j'étais totalement heureuse avec ça. tu vois. Si je l'avais fait plus tôt, je pense que ça aurait été euh, plus ouais, compliqué pour moi. Parce que tu venais tu juste d'arriver en France et que tu étais encore très très jeune. C'est ça. En plus, mmh. c'était des gens de mon lycée tu vois, mmh. avec qui euh, j'avais fait créer beaucoup de liens. Quoi. Mmh. Ce qui fait qu'au ouais, bout d'un moment, il euh, fallait euh, justement... Juste m'affirmer, tu vois, savoir euh, qui j'étais, où je voulais aller et surtout les gens que je voulais avoir autour de moi parce que c'était pas possible, quoi. Yeah, So, everyone here has been living in Paris for, or at least in France, for some time, correct? Yep. Yes. Yeah. 
but yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so then, can you tell me how can queer immigrants um, kind of come together to build some sort of community or um, support network for themselves? Well, some of us, I mean, me and David, we met at La Genda, which mm-hmm. is a nice, you know, colored queer space. And so that's really great. And you usually have like this meeting every first um, Thursday of every every month. We we got that going on for ourselves, which is really, really good. And there's also like other places where you can get checked for like STIs or whatever. And I think David can, you know, go deeper into that because he hasn't gone deeper in oh, me. Really quick, can you say the name of the place again? La Jonda. Someone is thirsty over here. <laughs> oh, by the way, I found this um, lesbian bar. We should definitely go. Where? Where is it? Where is it? I will ser- tell Next you later. Next to the Centre When? I, I, tomorrow? I don't know. Mutinerie? No, don't say mutinerie, s'il te plaît. La mutinerie, there's a farm. I know the mutinerie. Ah, mutinerie. Someone told me about it. It's next to Centre Pompidou. It's not ouf. It's very small. No. But I hope it's a new thing. Wait, I'll tell you later. It's very white. It's very white. It's very white. It's very white. Mais vous connaissez un autre euh, bar euh, lesbien Il y a un bar des masses, il y a juste à côté. Last time, what did we go to the... Ah, that was bad. The one, that was horrible. The one, the one went uh, on my birthday before we met yes. up with you. Yes. Um, uh, actually, it depends on the night. Mm. Because there are some nights where they put like a full music. And oh. Yeah, that's the ones I want to go to where there's... Bl- mm. People of color. <laughs> <laughs> POC. Say, yeah. But there's POC <laughs> and then there's black. Yeah. <laughs> okay. No. Yeah, there's a huge difference. <laughs> a huge there, there. difference. <laughs> um, <sighs> have you guys found places like these bars, your places where you felt safe, where you found yourself, where you felt like, I can be me, I can be free, be it clubs, maybe you had free DJ, whoa, 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 free advertising. <laughs> ah, <laughs> hey, California. <laughs> hey, California. If you hear me, my brother, I coming. That's a very good place, actually, where I was shocked to find black people. Like Where? California, uh, California, everyone. Uh, yeah, yeah. We this found is, black uh, people. Is like it's a. Châtelet. It's in Châtelet. Pour qu'on y aille en fait, hein. C'est gratuit. L'entrée est gratuite. Ouais. Faut juste descendre avec une boisson. Like queer and black. No, I mean it's it's, it's black. Not it's so black. Afro. But it's, you can be queer in there. It's very gay. It's a very, it's, it's, mm-hmm. a, it's a beautiful gay space. I mean, gay, it's, just, yeah. it's just niggas and Africans. It's just like it, 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 wow. it was so good when I saw friendly. that. Oh, mm, cool. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, so, so you don't really know if people are gay or not, yeah. but they can like be gay yeah. when yeah. it's they're not. Exactly. There's no need to be cachet and be like, oh, and be like, check who's gay, who's gay. No. No, you're just gonna be like, okay, he looks like he sucks dick. It's and so you're like, okay. Well, and eat. She can eat. P- Too. She can eat oysters, <laughs> okay. Just add something on salt oh and pepper. Oh my god, I did not say that. You did. You okay. did. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> That's one place that I could have thought of, California. Is there any other spaces where you felt like, so as an immigrant person of color, when you came here, you felt like this is one of the few spaces where you can be you? Home. Home, home. <laughs> in your in your apartment. Yes, yes. I I've been throwing like parties in my apartment and that's like <laughs> it's the same <laughs> shit. It's the same thing. Yes, it's, it's actually <laughs> better. <laughs> yes, I would say for me like the first time I felt safe in Paris here it was really with my friends because uh, then I came out to them and uh, and really they were super nice and I always felt that I could be myself. I, I could make jokes and I could uh, say like anything out loud and. Uh, With them now, uh, like uh, talking about places um, in the Maghreb, you know, when you're young, when Let you're like something. in your 23s and 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 stuff. So I felt safe for the first time when I was like 23, your age, okay? Uh, <laughs> in the Maghreb, centuries. in the Maghreb, because uh, yeah, for the first time, I I found myself uh, in this place where there's like a, a pool of many gay nightclubs, mm. and I could flirt, I could uh, kiss people. Well. <laughs> she went out lollygagging. She was lollygagging. I was already a bad boy back then. So oh. yeah, it was really good. And mm. um, and today, well, you did I it think too. I feel well everywhere in Paris because I'm, I'm living outside of Paris in the suburb. And oh, let me tell that's you, the a big suburb. Change. Yes. Wow. Actually, I have a story that happened to me like two weeks ago. You know, uh, I'm living like in Vitry-sur-Seine. It's in the south of Paris so um, in front of my house there, there's like a, a drug dealer spot and when I want to go to the metro I have to pass 
that way, you know, always. So I've been there for two years already. And so last time I went back home at like midnight mm -hmm. and this guy came to me. So like a drug dealer, it's always like a group of guys. He came yeah, to me and he called me like, the, oh, like, come here. Uh -huh. What you do? What you do? And I was like, I don't like it because no one calls me like this. Exactly. Like, you're not supposed to call me like, I'm not your son. I'm not your friend. Not even your son gets you called like that. Me, you don't know me. So not even a don't dog. Do that. So I went to him because, you know, of it was late. And, uh, of course. Of course. Uh, so I, I just you went to him? I went to him because yeah. it, it, Weren't you scared it for was midnight. Life? It was midnight. And, and dealers I, got big dicks. I had to... <laughs> How do you know? And I had to pass that way. So I went to him and uh, he asked me, and I already knew. He asked me, what well, can I ask you a question? I was like, oh my God, I know the question already because I've been like walking this way for two years and we and I never told you hi and you never told me hi as well. And yeah. he told me, uh, I was like, okay, ask your question, your stupid question. He was like, are you gay? I was like, what? why do you ask that? Like, he really asked me, are you gay? Are you gay? And at first, Why are you, you gay? gay? <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? Who said I'm gay? You don't you know you're gay. gay. No, no, no. no, no, no. no. Uh, really, no. no. It's a joke. It's a joke. <laughs> we have to show you that. We have it's to show Uganda, you that. Right? It's, it's in Uganda? Was it? Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 It's the uh, woman who's not a woman. You're not a woman. So what are you? I know, I know, I know. I know this one. So he asked you, are you gay? He asked me, are you gay? Okay, and I was like, okay, I have to think. So for me, like in order to think, I first have like to answer like anything. I was like, okay, why do you ask me that question? Mm. He was like, why not? I'm not allowed to. I was like, uh, well, no, I don't know you. Well, just answer if you want to answer. I was like, I don't want to answer, so I will not answer. I was like, okay, but are you gay? I was like, bitch, <laughs> I am. Why is he insisting? It's weird. So I... I told him yes and I was like okay it's good I was like well but I didn't like yeah. that as a question so I was about like to go and then he asked me are you okay with the question I was like no I'm not okay with the and question and you did because say you okay with the question <laughs> I told him I, I mm. was not okay with the question because I'm not live because this is not Paris we are outside of Paris and uh, mm. and uh, they are more like migrants and Immigrant, uh, yeah. and we know I mean we are we all know how our people think about being exactly, gay yeah. while, while being black. So while um, being black, it's another, it's another pandemic. Suburb, yeah. You know? yeah. 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 <laughs> and um, mm. I was so pissed off, but at the same time, I was like super scared because, well, okay, now I can no longer pass this way. I will have to. Le voir déjà. Je je le dit, en fait, le mec l'appelé comme way. This is son the chien. way that I. Mais tu t'es arrêté pour lui parler, quoi. Ouais, he, carrément, he, carrément. Non, il me l'a dit tellement fort, je ne savais pas que tu appelais comme ça. Ouais, c'était le chien, quoi. Il me l'a dit encore. Il me l'a dit, je me disais, non, je suis un homme. Je veux dire, je suis juste. Tu es courageux. Je suis juste. Tu es courageux. Moi, je l'ai fait. C'est moi. Et aussi, il était fort, il était haut, il était sur les drogues. Et il y avait des amis là. Donc, je me disais, non, je suis juste un homme. Je suis juste un homme. Okay, for myself, and I'm just gonna tell him, yes, I'm gay. So what? Oh, okay, so, that's, that is cute. that's nice. And then I told I him, mean, no, I didn't appreciate your questions because this is a suburb, and uh, you know, yeah, but you know, uh, I know like people who are also gay, and I don't care. That like, yes, I don't care if you don't care. Just don't ask me that. We, I don't know you. Mm. I don't yeah. want to get to Especially know you. Especially at this hour, and the way you called exactly. me, everything yeah. is yeah. making me uncomfortable. And you're yeah. trespassing boundaries here. And, like, uh, And yeah, I can so understand you like at some point because on the next day I, I told to my colleagues this uh, story and I was like, no, don't worry. I was like, well, you don't know. You don't I'm black yeah. and gay. You're I was black like, and no, gay. you're like overreacting. I'm like, I'm not overreacting. Yeah. Oh, this is the that's summer. Well, they're that's white that's people. people. Of course. Uh, of course. Fuck. Of course. Well, of course. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. <laughs> We're going to cut that out. Uh, you know, were and, they non melanated and, and, <laughs> and, and, and for me, I was like, okay, you know what? I'm not going to try to explain myself because uh, I know there's a situation as, as a black person. You try mm. to explain to someone that this is racist and they will say it's not racist. And it's exactly the same thing. I was telling uh, these people that um, now I'm scared to yeah. pass this way at night or even. It, it, in the daytime because when I walked to the metro station I faced them this is a group of 10 guys between yeah. 12 be between noon and midnight they are there yeah, they are, yeah. and they know I'm gay yeah, now I know, I know, I'm I know gay that type and of handsome, <laughs> so they, 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 and handsome and what can you do now well sell my body to them <laughs> <laughs> basically guys it's, it's better living in Paris 
Yeah, the yeah. Yeah. In the, uh, yeah, yeah, the Yeah, because I also live in the suburbs. And even yeah. in other things that you do, I, I live in uh, Montreux, just outside of Montreux, Montreux but like yeah. Soubois, Montreux, just in the middle there. Oh, no, it's, it's, it's between. It's a Roni, Soubois, and Montreux. It's like. The code says Montreux, but I feel like it's Roni. Roni, yeah. So I might as well just say Roni. Roni yeah. <laughs> but it's so. It's religious people. You are different. Oh, it's, yeah. You're black. Mm. Woman. <laughs> yeah. mm. Being black in a suburb is uh, definitely ooh, something being else. Jo- it's different. Buying than being alcohol black in, in Paris. The su- <laughs> Excuse me. Because me, I live in Fort Nesuba. And yeah, there's a lot of like religious people, whatever. It's very suburban. Mm. But still, there's, there's a lot of. And kids and, and you know with their families. With and their they families. Judging you. It, it depends on the suburb actually. Exactly. So if you are in Nanterre, it's not oh, the same. Well, well, well. We are talking about the ghetto. The ghetto yeah. where yeah. our blackness and fairness when they is. Got, when they <laughs> got the <laughs> one refrigerator. The one refrigerator. Oh, tell the ghetto. Excuse me. So yeah, for me, like it's 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 a whole experience because oh me, I also go to the gym, so you get to see like you know you know sweaty men that smell tell. men. And that's why you yeah. are going to the gym. I okay. go to the gym because I want to get good for myself. But when I we, sure? yeah, yeah. <laughs> just for yourself, for myself <laughs> and for whoever wants to touch. Um, <laughs> so my, my thing is just like you know me, for example, I found my safe space just like David, David, you know, within my friends. But I just had to extend that part of me mm. because my friends are very. I have my friend group for everything, for every personality I have. So my Latino <laughs> side is has Latino friends. My queer side has queer friends, and then the queer side of me diverges into like black queer, Latino queer, and this part of me <laughs> queer. And it, it's just it's just a, a, a lot of things going on. So I have like a bunch of friends everywhere. You right? are a I am a whore in every sense home. of the word. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I work very hard for that title. Keep it. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, <laughs> My goodness. But yeah, like in, in terms of in terms of spaces where I can be freely me and mm. queer, like. I am queer and happy in my own space in my bedroom because mm. I I do whatever the fuck I want I talk to whoever the fuck I want and I uh, cannot feel judged sorry. by doing so yeah so like it's it's very complicated at least for me because when we going back to the first question which was um, intersectionality I always have to intersectionalize myself every motherfucking time mm. <laughs> you know it's fucking difficult mm. and so like right now I feel safe because my black side not the, not even the Latino black side it's just the black side of myself is safe here mm. so I can like speak whatever the, I want and I know some of it you guys are going to understand because you know like me most of you are black <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> My white side feels offended. <laughs> That's the point. Karen, is the Karen jumping out? Like no, 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 no. You're being too sensitive over oh, here. Right. And then I so, need the manager. Oh, go on. She's gone. They are gone. And so, anyway, so even today, I'm at 30 years old. Like, I'm still, I, I'm very safe and, you know, outspoken of who I am and what I do and my personality. You guys have seen it because you guys know me outside of this podcast, which I appreciate you for. But even today, I have to constantly explain myself to people where is there, there's no need to do so. It's like, mm. you. Co- I work in a restaurant, you ask for what you want and if I talk to you in a language that you understand, mm. do not feel free to talk to me in French. I'm mm. clearly talking to you in fucking Spanish or English. So it's just a whole thing of, it's, it's, a, it's an everyday thing, you know what I mean? So every day I have to explain myself again and again and again and then my, my, my gay side has to come out because the gays are there and then my Latino side has to come because it's just a whole thing. So it's, it's, um, it's very complicated it's very difficult and I, it gets tiring but I thank God that every time after I, I clock out of work I got, I got a text from my friends be like what are you doing where are we going to drink you know it's just simple stuff like that because I'm an alcoholic guys by the way so <laughs> thank you if you didn't want to like, go and drink call me <laughs> and so it's just like for me safe is my people hmm. people that I've known since I came here in France and we are still friends and we talk about anything even the people that have come along on the ride with me those are very much welcome so I guess a specific place I don't have but it's my environment the people that w- who I'm with exactly. that makes it safe mm. at least for me mm, so, so. yeah and how was coming how was your journey coming to Paris learning of France actually leaving your country immigrating to this place and finding your feet as a black as a person of color who's queer how was that how how do you find your journey um, for me at the beginning it was quite difficult but it was easier than uh, some people that don't speak French for example Yeah. since I'm like from a French uh, speaking country it mm-hmm. uh, was easier in that way and even that part actually there, there was a little bit uh, like uh, complications 
Parce que les Français euh, d'ici, surtout à Paris, ils parlent pas vraiment français. Genre, quand les, le français que tu apprends. C'est pas, pas le français d'être. C'est pas du français. C'est pas du français. Mmh. français mmh. Ouais, c'est français de réalité, quoi, quand même. C'est genre, ouais, ouais, ouais. Wesh. 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 What does that mean? Sorry, I'm sorry. What to learn that you're black? Yeah. Yeah. Because like, it's different I, way. Yeah, yeah. Because in Senegal, you were just... I, I, I was just... I, I didn't know that, like, being black could mean something. Like, oh. I, I was aware, like, about the discriminations that were going on uh, in, uh, like, other countries and stuff like that. I knew uh, about those type of things. But you don't know with really if you don't leave it mm -hmm. like it's a whole like different uh, story when once you like start living in a country where the majority is not uh, your color mm -hmm. and then uh, them having like a box where they put you in uh, one uh, when you are like a person of color like uh, yeah they, they have like all those uh, stereotypes that they have in their mind uh, about what who you are like uh, for example uh, like one simple thing i would say uh, I, i would uh, go uh, since i was like in um, one of uh, like the top um, school uh, engineering school in france like so i was really surrounded by like uh, guys that was like from the CSEM that were like which even like the son of uh, uh, the Louis Vuitton empire was like in our school and mm, stuff like I that know. yeah but the problem in those type of places is that like sometimes like you, you go to events and people like are like really uh, surprised that you are like an engineer like the rest of them or stuff like that that's not the other waiter at and the event yeah <laughs> and stuff like that makes you feel like yeah I, 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 I forgot that I was black Like uh, no, oh. right now you reminded me that I was black. Uh, okay, I, I, <laughs> I understand I mean? now. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, before like leaving uh, here, I didn't. I wasn't aware of that. I wasn't aware mm. that uh, about like racism and how I could like feel. Mm -hmm. uh, once I'm like in front of people that were saying uh, or uh, doing stuff. And the other thing also uh, is that uh, French people, um, when they are racist, they are not like Americans or uh, other. Like countries, mm. it, it's not direct. Mm. It's like really a micro aggression. aggression. Yeah. Micro aggression. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, that's so disgusting. Ah, mais vous parlez bien français. Mais ah oui. Ouais, comment ça se fait, genre? Comment ça se fait? Ah oh, ouais, it's, 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 to me it's disgusting. Like, est-ce que vous pouvez euh, épeler votre nom de famille? Like, enfin, euh, genre, tu cherches comment? un appartement et ok, c'est c'est mort pour mais moi. Mais tu vas avoir le nom le plus simple au monde et quand ah, même non, ils vont te demander. Ah, euh, excusez-moi, c'est quoi? Imagine me. They see Nunez Martinez, which is very Latino, and they see a nigga coming in. They're like, what the fuck is going on? Like, what, is, what is this? The ghetto. It's the ghetto. Yeah, it's not making any. Like Nunez, but it's a ghetto. No, but to be honest, when I also first met you. <laughs> oh, this motherfucker. <laughs> We came here. So I came here with the Tepi program. I was teaching English as an assistant English. Uh, English as an ooh, an English assistant. <laughs> so my uh, prof reference gave me his details okay email we email and i'm thinking okay fine it's gonna be uh spanish latino man all that and i meet it and that someone was like wait where's the boy i was talking to because <laughs> 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 i didn't even up all yeah no, it's me <laughs> who's a respect on my name i was so confused i i don't side with them <laughs> no, but you, you, you did that so you did you did it comes at you, you a little bit too strong <laughs> uh, like for me for example I've always tried to be like you know I've thought this was just a joke and I got tired of this whole you know rhetoric of black people have to work three times four times as hard yeah I know but the, no. yeah it's it's like eventually you do like settle and be like you know what this niggas was right Mm. I feel like it's so hard being a immigrant and having to find a job and keep especially in service for me where I work keep a job and mm. you have to work so hard but you don't want to and you feel like you're being overworked for no reason yeah you're like I don't want to do I should not work so hard yeah but like, you have to work hard to prove yourself because you also need them to help yes, you yes huh, yes, huh, it's yes. No. and like you have this money and exactly you, this money. you get this moolah <laughs> like like I have like this anecdote this lady came out to me she was French she was white and she saw me and she's like oh Do you speak Spanish? I'm like, I do. I said, I do, right? Mind you. And she kept talking to me in French. She's like, uh, du coup, je prends un burrito, s'il vous plaît. And she did this. Pas 
Darico. Pas Darico. Vous comprenez Pas Darico. Et moi, j'étais oh. là, genre. Euh, oui, oui, je comprends. Je comprends. Pas Darico. Tu n'as pas parlé en. Non, je pas. Non, non. non. Euh, pas de coriandre. No coriandre. Et pas de fromage. F. Vous avez compris ou pas And I'm like, euh, 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 oui, oui, euh, euh, pas de haricots, pas de fromage, pas de sauce. Non, 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 monsieur, vous pouvez aller français ou pas euh, Oui, un peu, genre, whatever. <laughs> and then, yeah, okay, exactly. <laughs> and then, so I did it, and I misserved her, something she didn't want. I'm like, oh, I'm so On sorry. Purpose? Yeah, of course. <laughs> the fuck <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm, oh, je suis désolé, uh, c'est trop compliqué, c'est le premier jour. Mind you, I've been there for three months. I do everything. <laughs> she's going to hear it like that. Yeah, I, I do everything. I have to get, and she's like, ah, oh, c'est trop compliqué ici. Vous parlez pas même pas anglais, ni espagnol, et vous avez du mal à parler français. But you said you speak Spanish. I did say I speak Spanish, but she didn't care. Like, all she saw was a nigger. Like, that's what I said, like oh. I said, we've been before. I speak Spanish, and they just strictly just go to French. Yeah. And they hear me speak in Spanish, and they go like, French. You know what I mean? Mm. Mm. So it's that's like they want to cause a problem, right? For no purpose. fucking reason. They just want to cause a problem. It, look, if there's Latinos out there listening to me or anybody else that speaks Spanish, if you hear a nigga talking to you in perfect Spanish with no motherfucking accent, don't go back to French, motherfuckers. <laughs> mm. Thank you. That's right. Anyways, so she leaves and I've got a group of French people waiting in queue. They're like, oh my God, we have to go through the same thing, thing she went. She leaves, she, do, like, she closes the door and I'm... I'm Frenching. I'm like, bonjour les gars, qu'est-ce que vous voulez, qu'est-ce que vous désirez, machin, and I'm saying everything to them. Like, but you said you didn't speak French or Spanish. I, I, I fucking do. <laughs> so, I fucking do. What, so what, what, what can we do about what, it? Well, what you gonna do? Like, I tell you, you can't be me up. <laughs> <laughs> Who gonna check me? Who gonna check me? Who gonna check me? Ah, shit. <laughs> and on that note, we are taking a little break. Let's go smoke. Hey y'all. Hey y'all. No. <laughs> we can't go smoke. I get out. <laughs> I, I need a <laughs> there right now. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Swerved on them airbags, crashed the range Wild verse, niggas only good at playing mind games Yeah, I get it, I was caught up in the moment All the pillow talk really had your boy open Realized my pride kept me so stoic Falling for your lies when I should've stayed focused Still don't understand how you could do me like that Gave it all to you, now you gotta give it back This to me that you a love letter on wax Had to block you on the apps, now I'm venting on the track Cry too many times, now I gotta keep it moving Boom, and I fall from a lane so you never catch me snoozing Always going to it, how I do it, how you do it Do it, me back, gotta prove it Prove it Hold me back, gotta prove it Far from a lane, so you never catch me snoozing Snoozing, snoozing Never catch me snoozing Really want me back Prove it Loves me, I think he loves me now Loves me, I think he loves me now Loves me, I think he loves me now I think he loves me now I think he loves me now, think he loves me now. Shake your body Shake your body Work your body Don't hurt nobody Loves me, I think he loves me now Loves me, I think he loves me now Loves me, I think he loves me now I think he loves me now, think he loves me now Yeah, so usually if I want to get like a tested, uh, I will go to a place called Checkpoint. Mm -hmm. So you can find uh, it's in the fourth arrondissement. It's very close to Saint Paul, the metro uh, one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, so it's for free. So first of all, you need to call them in order to organize uh, 
an appointment and then you can get like a tested for everything mm. so hiv uh then hepatitis etc 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 and they do also offer uh psychological support if you need one so yeah so that's a very good place and you get your your results within within three days so this is very cool well, that's so great this is where i go to and m you have also more and more places in Paris where you can start a um, a prep mm -hmm. I don't know if you know the prep so yeah. mm -hmm. it's like, like preventative oh, cool. exactly so mm -hmm. you're not supposed to be here so <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> actually I tried the prep and I, like I gave it up because I had very bad symptoms I was tired all the time I was like I'm Me not even too. like I don't have sex and I'm tired all the time. What's yeah. wrong with me? I was tired. <laughs> I, I was tired and wanted to puke all the time. So like David is saying, there's a checkpoint right here, not far from here. It's in Rue Geoffroy Lasnier. I think, I'm sorry. That's the word. I'm sorry. I think they moved actually. Where? They used to be here. Mm -hmm. But last time it wasn't here. Yeah, they moved again. Look at them. They're just being Parisians. Just moving, moving, moving. Yeah. <laughs> Ridiculous. But anyways, yeah, guys, you have to like get checked. Every if you're going to be a whore, do it right, okay? Take care of yourself and the people you are with. It's not for them, it's for you mostly. Mm -hmm. Because even though you guys are in PrEP, let's just not forget that PrEP is not just for any other disease. It's specifically for HIV to prevent yes. that. Yes. But if you get a crab, if you get, you know, some syphilis or whatever, that's on you because you're not getting checked properly. And then you have to at least do, if you're in PrEP, you have to get checked every three months mm -hmm. just to make sure everything is, you know, fine and tidy mm -hmm. and then um it's 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 free first of all let's start there all you have to do like um they've said just call and it's yeah it's gonna be difficult because the first step is always fucking hard yeah. knowing that you might you know be a, <laughs> a beehive for stds no one wants that and you want to be like a pokemon collector of stds <laughs> so you <laughs> yeah so you it's a thing you must do and it includes everyone from the um lgbtqi plus community and it's uh it's it's just keep it safe for yourself, not for the people you're going to be sleeping with. And it's a privilege, actually, that it's for free because in most countries, it's not for free. And there are also like many countries, uh, big countries, they don't have a single uh, STD, how do you say in English? STD centers, you know? Mm -hmm. So uh, this is a privilege uh, to be able to get checked. And if you have an STD, the treatment is also for free because we are in France, guys. Yeah, unlike in South Africa where you have to shower. No. <laughs> <laughs> I say what I say and I stand what I say because the president said it. So. I will I will just say if you um, have a cartel, I think you can go to any clinic and mm. you can get a script and get tested. Um, mm. I think it's like 25 euro, but you get reimbursed for it afterwards. If no. you got the capital, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But at the center, you don't pay anything. Mm. You, oh, you just have to show your carte vital, okay, by the way. And uh, also, since uh, we are talking to a public uh, of like immigrants, mm -hmm. uh, when you move to France, you must go to uh, the carte vital center. Mm -hmm. so, so basically, you need to register in order to get uh, this free uh, medical assistant card. You know, but it's so, worth it. it is yeah, worth it's it. free for everyone. So because this is France again. So then. Kind of moving on, looking towards the brighter future, um, what changes would you like to see personally um, in France around queer spaces? Um, for me, I think it's especially like having more um, um, uh, lesbian uh, yeah. spaces. Yeah. Because oh, definitely. we don't yeah. have uh, yeah. much of those so now. Mm -mm. So that part. And um, also in general, uh, maybe in corporate um, environment, to have that part uh, more included. Because uh, in my experience, um, when I work in like uh, American um, enterprises, it's easier to navigate like uh, your queerness within uh, that environment than when you work in like French uh, corporate. Mm. So yeah. Do you That's find that the French are more conservative when it comes to yeah, being definitely. queer? Yeah, like <laughs> definitely. Definitely more, <laughs> yeah, they are. Yeah, you don't have like, for example, I was in an American um, uh, enterprise and uh, we had like uh, 
a sort of like um, une association dédiée uh, justement aux personnes queer uh, ouais. qui étaient dans l'ordre presse, tu vois. On pouvait fait. même avoir uh, le, le porte-cou uh, qui était uh, aux couleurs de l'arc-en-ciel, ce genre de choses. Mm -hmm. Mais direct, quand j'ai changé d'industrie et que j'étais là euh, dans une boîte où c'était vraiment une boîte française, une grande boîte française, mais que, enfin, créé, euh, tout le monde était français dedans, c'est même pas un sujet. Mm. Like, we, it's not even a topic that we talk about, mm. like, in mm. no, uh, in any kind of way. Mm. So, yeah. And it's shocking to me because, like, um, I feel like the French people claim to, because in paper, for them, mm. they are very much open and gay marriage is a thing. Mm. Le but des droits de l'homme. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. so all of that things, <laughs> but like in actuality, when you have to like actually get into these spaces, en fait c'est c'est des gens vraiment enfermés quoi. Genre mm -hmm. uh, ouais t'es gay, ok c'est cool, j'ai des potes gays, y a pas de souci. Par contre, uh, essaye pas de me draguer. You are fucking ugly. Bitch, you're ugly. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and your name is Jean Pierre. You shut <laughs> every face. <laughs> no, <laughs> so it's 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 a whole. Th I'm not reading anybody. <laughs> You mean everybody? And reading, <laughs> and reading is what? Fundamental. <laughs> so you can read. <laughs> But it's just a thing of, um, if you are going to create these spaces and paper, you also need to like teach the people who are reading these papers to actually come out and actually create these safe spaces for everybody mm -hmm. working in this entreprise, you know? Because at the end, you don't want to go or to bus. It's not even because you are you, mm -hmm. because you, like you guys said before, it's because they are making you a topic of conversation, mm -hmm. which should not be a thing it's for everybody. I will say that there is like a, a sort of double percep standard. yeah, double standard, but also a perception that gayness equals more like uh, promiscuity. Yeah, yeah, that is so yeah. 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 And that's that is not, not true. Oh, no, for some people, let me tell you something. I am a gay black man, and the sex within me is zero. Okay. That sounds like a personal problem. It is a personal <laughs> problem, and I'm putting it out right there and now. So if is there's anyone with a big nine inch, slide into your dim. Please do, and if you got a big, cool <laughs> bunda, please do also. Okay, I welcome everybody. No one will be judged. I feel so much pressure over here. Uh, <laughs> speaking of closed spaces, how do you think that France could become more open, and how would we create this sort of allyship with people who are not in the community? Is it on them? Is it on us? What should be done? It's not, not on us. us. It's <laughs> yeah. It's definitely okay, I will say I feel like they feel like it's on us. They're like, oh, like, I don't know. I, I don't want to offend anyone. It's just like, you're not even fucking trying. Yeah, no. yeah. try first. Yeah. Try first. Oof. Educate <laughs> yourself. Try not to be offensive. Try not to be... And from there, we take it on. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It's like, accept the criticism as yeah, well. Like, exactly. if you fuck up, be like, oh, I'm sorry. I fucked up. And then move on. And take it. Know how to take it. <laughs> Enfin, moi, je vivais en colocation pendant, je, je vivais en colocation pendant donc deux ans à, à Vitry-sur-Seine à l'époque, et on, on, c'était une grande coloc. On était six ou sept en général, Ooh. voire huit oh, parfois. Hein? Was it a wooden school? Non, non, non. C'était vraiment une maison en fait, euh, okay. une maison pavillonnaire, voilà, mm -hmm. de, de cinq chambres, et euh, certains de mes collègues étaient en couple. Donc, on était entre six et huit en général à la maison, Ooh. et, et puis, puis j'étais le seul gay. Mm -hmm. dans, dans la colocation mm -hmm. et on était tous quasiment des personnes de couleur noire mm -hmm. après il y avait un blanc voilà mais euh, ils étaient minoritaires les blancs et euh, ils étaient tous euh, hétéros sauf moi et, euh, et c'est vrai que la question que vous demandez justement euh, mm -hmm. qui est de savoir euh, bah, comment est-ce que les personnes hétéros doivent faire etc enfin mm -hmm. en fait je me suis rendu compte dans cette coloc en fait ils, ils ne savent rien sur nous mais ils sont curieux au fait ils étaient très curieux et donc je me suis donné ce rôle voilà que c'est moi de voir la manière dont ils m'abordent, de ne pas prendre des choses de manière personnelle et vraiment de les considérer comme des gens qui veulent apprendre parce qu'ils étaient vraiment très curieux. Au début, c'était assez, euh, assez tendu et bizarre et euh, ils m'ont même dit euh, au fil du temps que c'est la première fois qu'ils mmh. euh, qu interagissent aussi de manière fréquente avec mmh. une personne homosexuelle. Mmh. Et donc, je me suis dit, en fait, ils ont vraiment tout à apprendre et, et euh, bah, moi, je suis là au fait pour leur montrer euh, voilà que euh, voilà je suis euh, une personne homosexuelle et que euh, et que leurs a priori sont des a priori finalement euh, donc voilà je pense que enfin moi comme j'ai pas vraiment vécu d'expérience trop négative euh, mmh. ces dernières années mmh. je me sentais bien dans ma peau déjà donc euh, j'avais pas d'a priori aussi vis-à-vis -vis de mmh. des remarques qu'ils auraient fait peut-être et c'est vrai qu'il y, y avait une tension au début. Il y avait quand même une tension parce qu'on euh, ne sait pas trop comment approcher l'autre. Mmh. Est-ce que j'ai le droit de dire ça ou pas, etc. Et voilà. 
Do you feel like those people kind of treat you like um, they have an image in their mind and they're not really sure like what to do with it? Exactly. Like they don't see you as a person. Alors mm. au début ils l'avaient, c'est ça. Au mm. début euh, ils avaient un peu cette image de moi. J'en étais conscient. Et vu qu'on avait des intérêts en commun, mm -hmm. on avait euh, des intérêts pour le sport, pour la musique, pour l'alcool, <rire> pour la danse, <rire> hello, hello. pour la danse, euh, pour les vidéos, enfin la musique et, euh, et pour les belles choses aussi, voilà. Mm -hmm. Et ben, euh, ben finalement, ce sont ces choses-là qui ont pris le dessus quoi. au fait, voilà. Mm -hmm. Juste le côté humain, on va dire ça entre guillemets comme ça au fait, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. voilà. I like that. Like, yeah. Yeah. like you want to be seen as a human being, voilà. like For, not yeah, first an individual. Of all, yeah. Yeah. I want to be seen ça, as a human being. Enfin, mm -hmm. Et je pense que c'est la manière dont moi-même je, je me considère. Enfin, je, je me considère avant tout ben, comme moi au fait. Hein. Et après, bon, voilà. Après, je suis gay. Bon, et alors? Yeah. That's just an extra, you know, bedazzle. Mm. Voilà. Yeah. It is what it, cause it, yeah, that's what voilà. it is. Mais je pense que c'est un privilège. En tout cas, enfin, je, je considère que le fait que je me vois pas que comme gay ou que comme noir, pour moi, c'est un privilège. Mm -hmm. Donc, j'en suis très conscient parce que jusqu'à ce que je me sente comme je me sens aujourd'hui, mm -hmm. j'ai fait du cheminement. Je suis passé par toutes les étapes de ah ben je suis noir, ah ben je suis métisse, ah ben euh, je suis gay, et eh ben et eh ben je suis efféminé, etc. Mm -hmm. Donc, j'ai dû passer par toutes ces étapes euh, de remise en question et d'ajustement par rapport à à qui je voulais être pour enfin me me sentir à l'aise finalement mm. et ne pas yeah. que euh, euh, me résumer aux aspects qu'on voit visiblement en premier mm. Mm. après pour moi enfin c'est un choix à faire aussi euh, parfois quand tu es avec des personnes qui sont pas forcément enfin queer black ou mm. euh, people of color mm. whatever parce que enfin on n'a pas tout le temps à chercher à les éduquer tu vois like we don't have to do that Mm. Si tu t'en as envie et si tu, tu es dans le headspace to do that, mm -hmm. fais-le. Si euh, ça te coûte rien, fais-le. Mais si vraiment tu sens que là tu es en train de te forcer, exactly. que tu cherches à faire quelque chose qui ne te correspond pas, que tu cherches trop à, au final à t'intégrer pour rien, ne le fais pas. Juste toi, toi et euh, va trouver les personnes qui sont faites pour toi. Et ceux qui ne sont pas trop et qui, qui représentent trop de travail et tu n'as pas vraiment envie de faire ce travail-là, ne le fais pas. Sois pas avec ces gens-là. C'est tout simple comme ça, quoi, en fait. Mais moi, je viens d'un pays où vous luttez pour mourir. C'est tout. Comme en Honduras, vous avez des gens qui... Oui, l'homosexualité est somewhat acceptée, mais pas tout le temps. So if they see you, you are too feminine, you will get bullied, maybe killed. Mm. So if they know you are black and queer, it's even worse. Mm -hmm. I even got qu asked questions like, how are you black and gay? I've, I've heard that as well. You know? So how are you so stupid then? <laughs> how, yeah, how are you an idiot? <laughs> you yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 exactly. So, so, so how do you survive? How do you work if you're yeah. that stupid? To ask that question, I mean, yeah, so? I'm, yeah. Yeah, so it's, it's, it gets very difficult, complicated, like you said, um, Didi. It's like if you have to like constantly be teaching people about who you are and why you are the way you are, it's mm. not worth it. Just move it along. You oh, get I, better people, I get better agree. friends. Mm. You know, if you, have, like, if you have the time and you, f you feel like or you see that this is mm. someone that is actually willing to learn, mm. exactly. not for yeah, me, they have to be but for, to the, learn. Yeah, mm. for the rest of like you know, the humanity the or life, yeah. Yeah. they need to be able to be willing to also listen. Mm. And I'm not here to like teach you because you've been through school and you know what you're supposed to learn in school and you can buy books I, I mean I, exactly. yeah. it's yeah. very simple too yeah. Google is free yeah. <laughs> she is free <laughs> she yeah. is free just because I'm a man does not mean I'm going to sleep with every man that comes into par no I've got taste <laughs> the shade I mean <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you trying to shake me or yourself? Yeah. Hey, girl, I think like hey. even if you're like a queer woman, like you still, well, one, you still have that sort of internalized idea that you shouldn't be as overtly sexual yeah, as men. Exactly. So you, yeah, you're, as a woman, you're yeah. battling with that. And then mm. your partner is also battling with that. Mm. And generally when I'm on dating apps, I don't approach people first. Yeah, that's so I, that's that, that I think that's so hard even then. Yeah, if all the girls going, are like, like that, that, what they that's not going to work. Yeah, yeah, that's why we need yeah. mixes. Yeah. Yeah. We I mean, need mixes where we need mixes where we can all be in the same room space. But I feel like even if we were all in the same space, we'd still just be like, no, no, I'll sell a few I, drinks. I okay, okay, yeah, after a few drinks. Okay, yeah. I think it's Okay, fair enough, fair enough. But now you just there and you're like, Because my biggest thing is, what do I say that's not going to make me sound like an asshole or I what know. a man would say, so Hi. I'm overthinking everything. Because as a woman, I know I'm like, if I was to get that, maybe I'd be like, oh, yeah. you, 
you are a dick or you want one thing or whatever and now so you have to think about how they will receive it and how to properly convey it this woman is so speaking exhausting. truth it's speaking truth it, it doesn't matter that is so exhausting I think you're thinking too much I mean like to give you my no, idea no but it's true though like I have overth- straight up unmatched people based off of their first but opening line like, no, yeah, like, <laughs> okay this is harsh so I think if you're harsh like that then imagine what other people will think you know because uh, I think what's the goal of being on a dating app you know it, it yeah but I mean I feel like you also need to like either yeah but I feel like you also need to understand that women women come from like a whole this whole system exactly. that has always yeah. looked mm. down upon them so yeah. now they do yeah, yeah. they do yeah but, yeah, but, but yeah, you're, you're still men and yeah. gay I know we're still yeah. bottom like, being black women in general women in general, literally yeah. like, now you have to like climb a letter of, a letter of exactly. I'm yes. gay mm. a letter of mm. I need to be accepted a letter of I don't want what other women want it's yeah. hard it's and hard. also like the like the curious women who are just like I'm not sure Okay, like, it's a lot. It's a lot. Okay, I don't know if you guys are gonna agree with me, but when someone is curious about you know their sexuality, or whatever, and they come to you, no, they I'm see you, they it. yeah, because they see us. Uh, if you say uh, mm-hmm. if you think I'm lying, please let me know. Mm-hmm. They look at us like it's this exotic thing we mm-hmm. can have, yeah, and they just be like, okay, it's gonna be a one time thing. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be this mm-hmm. one black guy. It's gonna be fun because I've heard that black guys. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's like it doesn't really very smart. Exactly, very they have big. Heads, and so it doesn't really work like that. Like I'm still a human being, you know no. what I mean? Yeah, You're not looking at my humanity, yeah. just looking at my skin color and what you heard, like hear say yeah. shit. It's like that so. person's using you to like see what they want. It's mm. like don't do that. Exactly. I mean, like again, like if you're exploring or you're curious, okay, cool. I mean, but lead with that, yeah, lead with that also. Don't yeah. misrepresent the yeah, yeah, Don't lie. lie. Like, they want that a lot. lot of women that are there to find like. Uh, the third girl yeah we the third girl yeah, to have a twist we also have them but you, 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 you cannot know at the beginning because mm. they are like presenting uh, themselves yeah and, 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 they, they, and, and then you and then you're like too. it's so hard yeah I please I people listening to this podcast stop lying okay yes. be straightforward what you want what mm-hmm. you're looking for and what you want from me because and ladies just text first because <laughs> but it's so hard because <laughs> because this is what we do man like on a dating gay uh, app, we say what we want because, well, this is what we do, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but, but I remember me at the beginning, I was also like very shy. I didn't really said like what I wanted because mm-hmm. for me it was, oh my God, I, I want to have sex. Oh, this is bad, you know? Because yeah. Yeah. I, I was raised like this. I'm coming from a mm-hmm. very like mm-hmm. Christian and conservative household mm-hmm. and African household. So I, I was raised uh, to not be gay because mm-hmm. uh, this is bad to be gay. So, uh, so yep. <laughs> well, yeah, mm-hmm. it works. fabulous. <laughs> anyway, so um, so I think everyone has somehow to deconstruct uh, mm-hmm. like perception and uh, and and ideas that whether his family or the society has put upon us yeah yeah but also oh sorry go ahead no go ahead sorry Uh, i was just gonna say like i feel like lesbians are often like overlooked or sort of we are invisible yeah like, like, you don't yeah. no you are not yeah. let me see what you guys are not it's just it's not our belief it's not our belief it's not like, well, yeah, it's not like, like, our like, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. what yeah. 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 I will yeah. explain yeah, exactly. I will <laughs> explain let me tell you something okay. a lesbian will fucking fix your door if it's broken I love that <laughs> Okay. Yeah, but that's your perception. No, that's my. That's my. That's my. Yeah, like, yeah. So we are not talking about fixed. our own perception of us. We are yeah. talking about what people. Yeah. Are okay, I'm still waiting for the list of five things, though. So it's like if you sleep with a woman that doesn't make you a lesbian, you a but if you sleep reasons. with a man, sleeps with another man that makes him gay. Yeah. That's the difference. with what I'm yeah. trying to equate. Yeah. No, one of the reasons that we were talking about is the fact that uh, women uh, tend to not be um, as fast as yeah, straightforward. With straightforward. Uh, I, I'm not uh, like uh, in my case, I'm not uh, like that. But uh, even if you are not, you are facing all the uh, other yeah, issues. This whole that we are yeah, 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 this whole sure. stigma. And uh, also, uh, there's a part that uh, there are some people that are there not for the right reason because they want to explore because mm-hmm. they want to have a threesome with you and they don't tell you that um, at the beginning at the beginning so. you are like trying to make mm-hmm. a connection with them and then uh, maybe uh, two weeks later you found out that uh, you find out that uh, they di- weren't interested in what you wanted yeah. but they don't tell you straightforward so there's that also there's that the part that uh, usually um, women are like more uh, observant uh, on uh, like the beauty side of aspects mm, mm. like men they just want to fight no, okay. 
I mean, excuse me? No, no, no. no like, if I can fuck a Calvin uh, Clyde bottle, I will, okay? No, no. All I get is he bus drivers. No, he yeah. <laughs> I don't okay. know. All right, guys, so sorry, you just sorry. fuck anyone. I just fuck from okay, nine okay, months to nine six. Okay, we're back to now, so we're going to stop, okay? Because this is a place of love and acceptance, okay? <laughs> we stop. accept you queer people and curious people, okay? You're all, right. all welcome. Just be there for the right reasons. Be straightforward. We love you. All right, so then our final question before mm-hmm. we sign off is... What would you like to convey to people who are coming to France as immigrants and as queer people? What is your final message for them? Ooh, what would you want them to know? Take a minute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but just one. <laughs> it's not so easy. It really is not. Because, <laughs> I mean, oh my I myself, I feel like I'm still trying to find my feet mm. in all of that. So it's oh. not so easy to tell someone like, oh... Okay, well, if you were talking to you who had just arrived, Mm. what would you tell yourself? Mm -hmm. Just enjoy. Just live in the moment. Find the right spaces. Find the right people. Mm -hmm. Find your crowd. um, And just try to be you. Mm -hmm. And I think maybe taking some... Being in a foreign country, this is... This was my thing. Nobody knows me. Mm-hmm. So how... It's not always easy, but how I show up is how I show up and how I will be received. Mm-hmm. And I just go in with it like, okay, nobody knows me. They don't have any ideas of who I was before or any, any of that. So just just be there. Just show up. Mm-hmm. It's not always easy, but just show up. It's mm-hmm. good advice. Ça, c'est parti. Je vais faire en français. We'll translate later. Um, de une, n'ayez pas trop d'attente. Parce que moi, je sais qu'avec les séries que je regardais à l'époque, je m'étais faite euh, une image. Euh, ah, oui, c'est que ça allait être, euh, La euh, Ouais, mais avant que ça a le groupe d'amis, la liberté, nanana, nan, nan, je pensais pas du tout à euh, toutes ces euh, problématiques-là dont on a parlé. Donc déjà, n'ayez pas trop d'attentes. Euh, euh, soyez aussi euh, indulgent envers vous-même. Parce que quand vous arrivez, vous allez euh, faire face à des choses, enfin euh, surtout si vous venez de pays... Euh, euh, où la majorité euh, sont comme vous euh, venez euh, d'une manière à vous accepter vous d'abord en tant que ouais. vous même mm-hmm. et soyez très indulgents parce que enfin il y a plein de choses, il y a des erreurs qu'on, que vous allez faire c'est sûr, y a, au début vous allez vouloir trop vous prouver aux autres vous allez trop vouloir euh, déconstruire euh, certains stéréotypes ou même euh, vouloir euh, montrer aux autres que vous êtes ça ou vous n'êtes pas ça toutes ces choses-là, c'est, c'est naturel d'être euh, comme ça au début parce que vous n'êtes pas habitué à ce qu'on mette ces stéréotypes-là sur vous. Et euh, venir euh, dans un pays qui te définit euh, d'une autre manière que toi-même, oh. tu te vois, mm-hmm. c'est très dur. Donc, euh, soyez vraiment euh, indulgent. Soyez votre meilleur ami. Franchement, euh, sinon, ça ne va pas le faire. Yeah, that's true. Et après, euh, sachez aussi que il y a plein de bons côtés aussi parce que je, je pense que durant tout le podcast, on n'a pas arrêté de parler de trucs qui étaient plutôt euh, <rire> négatifs. Mais il y a des bons côtés. Hein. <rire> <Ouais, et nous. rire> euh, il y a la liberté en fait, tout simplement que vous pourrez euh, avoir ici euh, n'ayez pas peur de construire vraiment votre propre vie mm-hmm. parce que il euh, y a plein de problèmes euh, qui sont liés à, aux en- différents environnements dans lesquels vous allez être et tout ça mais quand vous décidez pour vous même non seulement d'assumer qui vous êtes de d'assumer euh, ce que vous représentez et de créer euh, autour de vous euh, l'espace euh, safe en fait euh, qui vous permet aussi d'être vous même donc euh, que ça soit au niveau de l'entourage que ça soit dans la manière dont vous vous euh, portrez dans la manière dont vous vous montrez toutes ces parties là en fait euh, faudrait que enfin vraiment vous n'ayez pas peur de déconstruire et de reconstruire euh, ce qui vous correspond en fait tout simplement donc voilà, moi pour moi, c'est voilà, vraiment les éléments essentiels là, qu'on devait euh, retenir avant de mm-hmm. venir ici. Sorry, I'm going to limit you guys to one sentence ouais. each. We gotta... Moi, oh. je pense qu'il est important mm-hmm. déjà de trouver un travail quand on vient ici. <rire> <rire> je me rappelle que quand je suis arrivé en France en tant qu'étudiant, j'étais pauvre comme... Euh, <rire> j'étais vraiment très pauvre et, et c'est vrai qu'il il faut de l'argent pour euh, vivre déjà à Paris. C'est, c'est cher, donc retrouver déjà... Un petit travail, même si vous êtes étudiant et que vos parents vous aident, trouvez quand même un petit travail. Comme ça, ça vous faut aussi un peu sortir de vous-même, sortir de la chambre d'étudiant, voir des Français, voir des gens, premièrement. Deuxièmement, euh, trouver des personnes qui vous ressemblent aussi, parce que je pense qu'on est humain et que tout le monde fait la même chose. Hein. 
euh, même un Français, genre, genre qui va au Mali, euh, il, il va traîner avec qui Voilà. Et ben, donc, faites aussi, de, de, donc faites aussi la même chose parce que ça va vous permettre justement de... Euh, de, de supporter l'hiver <rire> et la pluie <rire> voilà et, euh, et je pense que c'est toujours bien de voyager donc euh, que ce soit en France ou autre part euh, profitez beaucoup faites des rencontres n'ayez pas peur et, euh, et vous, voilà vous, vous allez grandir intérieurement mm. sorry I'm just gonna quickly translate for the English listeners um, bring money <laughs> hustle. Yeah, hustle. yeah get, get a job. Around. Yeah, have money. Uh, be yourself. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. All right, last one, and then we gotta really go. Fuck bitches, make money. I'm gonna say it in Spanish because um, Didi said it in French, so I'm gonna say it in Spanish. Fuck all y'all. Okay. Yeah. Primeramente, entonces no tengan miedo de eh, aprender el idioma. Entonces ustedes entre más se adentran y tienen que hablar con una persona que es francés, no tengan miedo porque es lo más hermoso del mundo, como poder incluirse en estos espacios que muchas veces hemos visto en la televisión que no nos permite hacerlo. Entonces creo que es muy importante que aprendamos muy bien el idioma, por una parte. Por la otra, como decían anteriormente, es de conocerse a sí mismos, saber qué es lo que les gusta, qué es lo que no les gusta. Por eso es que tenemos que incluirnos en diferentes espacios como para saber eh, eh, quiénes somos en estos espacios diferentes. Yeah. Y último es, a ustedes se les ama, a ustedes se les quiere, van a encontrar círculos que los van a querer por quiénes son, tal y como son, en that's not going to be a problem for you guys. So y I la contracepción. Y la contracepción, por favor, use <risa> condón, por amor de Jesucristo, use el condón por aquí. Muy importante. Es muy importante <risa> usar el condón, por favor, protéjanse, que es muy importante también. Mm. Y siempre sepan que siempre, siempre, siempre van a encontrar una persona que va a llegar a sus vidas y le va a cambiar a su vida, ya sea un amigo, un hermano, un familiar, lo que sea. Eh, es, es verdaderamente importante tener como ese círculo que los apoye en todo momento y si una persona llega a su vida y se le termina su tiempo con ustedes es porque su tiempo con ustedes se terminó y van a encontrar a alguien más que va a seguir con esa, con esa tarea that's all for me all right oh my God. thank you guys for coming and thank for you. being part of our podcast we love you all thank you guys Yay. for listening so we're, 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 we're clear we're here yeah. we're never yeah. gonna adhere we're, 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 we're here what we're never gonna uh, adhere that didn't make sense yeah. Yeah. so we'll just cut that part out um, oh, thank no. you for listening <laughs> all right we're signing off bye bye, bye. bye. yes that was so fun yes. that was really fun